All right. So then finally we get to the opinion. And unfortunately, everything has not been published. So you got to pull from excerpts. You got to pull from quotes. You got to pull from those who are in the know and their summary of what happened and the quotes that are there. Or you could have read the leaked opinion, which is pretty much on par with what came out. But there are, you know, some changes because I think this opinion was leaked on purpose so that the court could get an understanding of how people would respond and then also address some of those concerns. I don't know if that's something we should make a common practice of, but given this situation, there are things who, that bother me more, okay? So we have Justice Alito's opinion, right? That's the one we care about. That's the important one, right? And essentially, what I pulled from his opinion, that was, you know, um, you have Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett. They were all, uh, they were all on the same page. And that abortion is not deeply rooted in American law slash tradition, and because there's no pre row precedent. So essentially, that means this is not a constitutional issue. So we're going to pass this off to either Congress or the states. So by them rolling back Roe v. Wade, all they were doing was saying, hey, I know one court believed that this was our issue. This court believes that it's not our issue. So states, take it. In a vacuum, do I think this is the worst thing in the world? Absolutely not. Because it's the federal government saying, hey, we're going to allow the states to run themselves more. And we're going to take a step back. Now, what has some people up in arms are, you know, some more of the things that can happen here. And what precedent this could be setting by sending our country back 50 years. Now, Brett Kavanaugh, he had his own, he had his own opinion and he had a concurring opinion, but he was, one important thing I think we should pull out of his concurring opinion is that he does, he, he's against retroactively punishing uh, Planned Parenthood, abortion clinics, doctors who've, uh, who've given abortions retroactively. He's against that. Like, can't punish those people because what they did was legal. It was constitutional in that state. And he's also against travel bans, which some states have talked about wanting to ban uh, their residents from leaving the state to go get an abortion. Now, Chief Justice... Chief Justice, Chief Justice Roberts, now he's come under fire for not being able to control the court, not being able to get, uh, I guess, the conservatives kind of on the same page. And he had a concurring, he was concurrent in judgment, but his opinion was a little bit different. He felt that the law, the Mississippi law was constitutional by, you know, restricting uh abortion to inside the first 15 weeks but based on what i read and i understand this is not something that he supported he did not support overturning roe v wade and case and casey as well he just said hey in this particular case right here we're going to put this in a vacuum what the state of mississippi is trying to do is constitutional and I think if he was able to bring his conservative justices on the same side of him, I think he'd be okay. I think that the the abortion groups, Planned Parenthood, the pro-choicers, and the pro-lifers would take it and go, hey, you know what, this kind of makes sense. Uh, it may not be what the pro-lifers wanted, but 
knocking it down to 15 weeks instead of some places 23 weeks. You know, I think that was the uh, accepted standard if my research serves me uh, correctly. But you go 15 weeks, okay, yeah, you knock off a few weeks. But he spoke to having a reasonable amount of time to make an informed decision. Makes sense. And then the dissenting opinions pretty much said, hey, this is not a vacuum decision. Overturning Roe v. Wade is not just overturning Roe v. Wade, which uh, Justice Alito said it's, it's, it's just about abortion. It's not about overturning any other rights. It's just abortion, saying it's not a constitutional issue. And the uh, the liberal justices say, no, this is just a step. This is the first step in stripping Americans of some of their other rights and sending us back to where we once were. Some would say MAGA. <laughs> we'll get to that a little bit later. So that's kind of the main gist of what happened here? 